Hello everybody, well, we're off to go work on the 67 Mustang once again. Uh, you may remember from the last two uh, videos, episodes, whatever we want to call them. Uh, we did get the Mustang to successfully turn over. So it looks like our engine is moving freely. It's not all frozen like I was worried about. Uh, initially, having set up for over 18 years, actually, I think it's probably closer to 20 years now uh, that I've thought about it. But anyway, so today we're going to go try and figure out why it wasn't getting spark. And I've got several parts uh, that have arrived. So we got new plug wires. Uh, we put a new coil on last weekend, so I don't think it's the coil anymore. Um, also, I think the really problem was the, the points, as I had mentioned. And sadly, you know, no one seems to know what those things are anymore. I went into uh, Advanced Auto to see if they might have points uh, for the, the Mustang. And yeah, they didn't. They didn't know what they were. They'd never heard of points before. At least the, the folks that were working the counter that day didn't. Um, so I thought that was kind of sad that, um, you know, people working mechanics uh, or working auto parts store didn't even have any inkling what points were so I ordered from CJ pony parts uh, by the way no sponsor to this video or otherwise affiliated uh, they just happen to have the cheapest price that I could find online a it's either Pertronics or Petronics forget I'm not sure how to pronounce it uh, electronic ignition conversion kit so it actually goes in the distributor so in the stock distributor uh, you've got a module that goes in there that replaces the points in the condenser and then it's got a little magnetic um, I don't know if a sensor's not really but a little magnet that goes over the cam that's in the distributor and you just gap it upright run your your wires uh, accordingly and wham bam thank you ma'am you're supposed to have ignition. It's supposed to be very easy to set up, so we'll find out if that's indeed the case. Also, I've got new um, plug wires to install, a new thermostat to install, because I got to thinking that that thermostat's probably frozen up, uh, rusted out, so we'll take that out and replace it. And what else do we have? Um, new hoses. Yep, new hoses for the radiator, even though it's leaking. Um, a new gas tank to install so hopefully we can get that in there with a new sending unit uh, because the um, probably the gas gauge that's the words I was looking for uh, never read right or at least not uh, when I was driving it as a teenager back in the the 80s and early 90s it um, it read full and then it read like half a tank it would suddenly jump to half and then suddenly it would jump to empty when it was you know too late and <laughs> And um, so that, you know, was always fun, uh, especially when you were a poor teenager and never had a lot of money. So anyway, so we'll get that hopefully squared away today. Also ordered a bunch of brake parts. Not sure if they're going to get on there yet today because uh, we're really just trying to get the engine to fire and run. So anyway, there you go. That's uh, it. We'll continue when we get to my parents' house and the same. Okay, so we are here back at my parents' house um, with the Mustang. I had hoped to be using my good camera, but I apparently forgot to charge it. So we um, are gonna start getting our parts arranged and going forward. So I thought I would show y'all the um, boxes and here we go. Here you go. You can see some of the, the boxes. I don't have the gas tank box out here yet, but we got several parts from Rock Auto and from CJ Pony Parts. So I'm going to go ahead and open these boxes and then I'll show you what we got to work with today in just a moment. Okay, so I've gone through, opened up all of the boxes and envelopes. So this is what we've got to work with today. So first is our, I'll bring it up here. Our igniter, this is going to replace our points and our distributor and convert it to electronic ignition. So hopefully that'll take care of our spark problem. To kind of also go along with that, we have um, a new set of plug wires for the, the engine there. 
and then down here we have our new uh, thermostat and of course uh, the gasket uh, also got us a new fuel filter to put on there because we need those uh, and then of course too you can see the other one down there uh, radiator hoses to get the coolant moving through the engine that's probably what we'll do today uh, went ahead because I know I'm gonna need them got some brake parts as well so we got uh, wheel cylinders all the way around front and rear uh, we got uh, two sets of hardware so apparently there's a dog barking somewhere and a plane flying overhead uh, but we got new springs and all that for the drum brakes eventually I'll put disc brakes on here uh, but not yet and then these are new um, uh, brake lines the rubber brake lines go up on the the front where you steer because I'm sure those are rotted out and need to be replaced too so we want to make sure once we get it started we can also stop the car so what I'm going to do first is probably go ahead and replace the uh, points with the igniter system here and get the new plug wires put on and see if that fixes our problem so we'll go ahead and get started on that here in just a second okay so we're back up here under the car now and open up the distributor to start with and pull the cap on it you can see the the inside of that cap is actually pretty good i'm not worried about it being a problem i uh, just kind of sit it back over there get it out of the way stay um here's our distributor in there you kind of see down this is the the rotor that spins around it's also looking like it's in pretty good shape i'll probably give it a good cleaning just to to make sure but i don't think that's our problem so down there uh zoom in a little bit you can see there's so getting in here let's see here get my finger that's the points right there so what happens is this um, turns and you can see it's got little lobes and flat spots what that does is get in here and cause the points down here to open and close and so right in there you can see those two contact points well um, that is what causes spark when they make contact we get a spark uh, that goes to the individual spark plugs based on the rotation here and uh, here's the condenser all of that works together to to, to make that happen you see the points look a little bit on the worn side there so this and this is what we're going to be replacing with that electronic ignition Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that now. So, after a few more minutes than I expected it to take, because I'm rusty as a shade tree mechanic, we've got the new electronic ignition put into the distributor. Here are the points that we took out, and they are definitely uh, worn and corroded, so I'm not surprised that they weren't working um, at all. So never seen a set of points there you go that's what a set of points what happens is that lobe in the middle there is a cam that rubs on this spacer here and it causes that to open and close as that cam goes around and then when those two points make contact it sends the charge to the appropriate spark plug firing the cylinder but anyway, it's gone, it's out. So my next part is to, I've got to run uh, these wires here over to the coil that you can see down there in the appropriate post. So I'm gonna get started on that part next. And then hopefully I'll switch, switch up the plug wires and we'll have spark. Okay, so now I've got the wires run back to the coil and connected. So hopefully that should all go correctly. And again, that's a new coil, so we should be good uh, as far as it goes. So now to replace the, the plug wires. There we go, we got it running. It's purring pretty good. Maybe she might be missing a cylinder or something in there, but she's running I'm not hearing any rod noise and we got engine pressure I checked the gauges so we're doing good there we got a new fuel filter so there she is after eight over 18 years I think it's closer to 20 
She's just running. You just can't kill these old inline sixes. They're just damn good motors. A lot of good low end torque on them. But, God, I just love to hear that. Okay, well now to go put in a new gas tank. We got that done. Okay, so we got our new gas tank installed in the back. Sorry for not taking pictures of before and after, getting a video of it. Uh, but it was just myself trying to get that out. So really took all my hands to, to do it. But it's not overly difficult. Uh, really, that tank is just held in by a series of um, bolts that came right out uh, amazingly i'm not sure that was the original gas tank that was in there uh, just because it had some weird primer in it but anyway uh just undid gosh at least 12 maybe even 16 bolts out of it um got it out uh did have to get down and of course disconnect the fuel line from underneath as well as the wire for the sending unit to the fuel gauge inside that was a little bit tricky the connector to the sending unit on the tank was well it wasn't coming off um, so i ended up having to cut the wire uh, which is fine i just put a new connector on there to connect the new sending unit that came with the tank i got from cj pony parts and then of course I had to take the filler neck out got it all cleaned up it was a pretty grimy nasty mess but it was all surface rust and stuff so I got it all cleaned out both inside and out got that reinstalled so um, pretty happy with the the way it turned out I uh, was able to do it by myself it would have been nice to have uh, a second person my dad did come out finally after I got it basically in there and help with um, getting uh, the right tools to me as I was underneath the car rehooking the fuel line up and I did have to replace the rubber fuel line that goes from the sending unit to the metal fuel line that runs back up to the the front of the car where the fuel pump is that original rubber was just completely rotted out but got that all done and she's in the car okay so kind of recap uh, we got her all started running as you can see here uh, just checking the lights out so we have our headlights are working there's our tail lights working out there pretty well uh, go ahead and get our check our turn signals to see if they're working uh, so we got that flipped on and now you can see the hood indicators working that was a special option in 67 to have those uh, hood signal indicators there's the left rear turn signal working yay that's a good thing and then we're going to go check the right turn signal good the hood indicator is working and the rear turn signal on the right side is working as well so we have headlights tail lights turn signals uh can't really see it too well but the instrument lights were in there working too so yeah we made some good progress today we're not going to be able to get through everything i had hoped for i would hoped to get a, some help um, so we could get that thermostat installed and the uh, new radiator hoses but we didn't get to that so we'll save that for another day but hey i'm excited this old girl runs um, still have a lot to do we want to uh, mention the radiator coolant stuff we also have the brakes uh, wheels to, to do as well got to make sure she'll stop uh, at some point we got to check the transmission and see if she's going to work um, and uh, hopefully that thermostat will work out uh, a cooling issue i noticed we were starting to get a little warm after she ran for about 10 minutes or so so uh, we'll get that fixed well there you go folks that is the end of uh, part three on the car we hope to continue the series i mean ultimately the the goal is to get the car on the road and i have a whole lot of plans for this car into the future so so if um any of uh, your parts stores out there cj pony parts mustangs unlimited kentucky mustangs advanced auto i don't care if y'all want to help sponsor uh this would be great we can certainly use the help they like said I have a lot of a lot of big plans for this car to turn her into a nice weekend driver. So with that, y'all have a good one and we'll see you in the next video.